Welcome back, everyone. Helping you live healthy on this Monday, whether you are gearing up for a marathon or just want to maybe run longer distances, there are some things that you can do to avoid foot pain and injuries. Podiatrists, a podiatrist with Cleveland Clinic says starting with the right running shoe is key. The shoe should be cushioned. It should have a heel flare to absorb shock in the heel area. You should have some cushion by the metatarsal or the front part of the foot so that that also is cushioned when you're running. You want to make sure that the toe box area is big enough so that your foot slides just a little bit. You're, the, the toes aren't rubbing right into the shoe. That is the worst pain when your toe is hitting up against that shoe, especially if you're running a long distance. So Dr. Rowland says finding a couple of good running shoes to rotate between is important. Since all running shoes are different, changing which ones you wear periodically can break the repetitive stress running puts on your feet, period. Also socks, specifically made for running, and a supportive insole can also help. She also says it's crucial to build up your foot strength by doing daily exercises and stretches as well. For example, you can flex your foot up to resistance and down to resistance. Not only do foot strengthening and stability exercises help you as you prepare for your run, but also while you're running, the better prepared your feet are, it reduces your risk of injury and it reduces long-term problems like stress fracture. Now, if you do happen to get blisters or calluses, you can try putting mole skin or a felt protectant against the area to provide a little extra cushion. Dr. Rowland recommends runners also see a podiatrist if you experience swelling, bruising, or any long-term issue that does not go away with home remedies.